Well, let's turn our focus to some buzzing stocks now and let's talk about Camlin India. That stock's been moving up. It's been up 20% in the last month and volumes and delivery quantities have also surged, crossed about 33 times higher in the last one month alone. Let's talk to the chairman and managing director, Dilip D. Dandegar, and uh, he'll tell us a little bit more about uh, Camlin's future plans. Uh, Mr. Dandegar, good morning. Yes. Can you talk good a little morning. bit more about your education for it? Tell us a little about Camlin Alpha Kids and how many schools are you planning to open? See, uh, basically, this is on the experimental basis, mm -hmm. and the first school which was established in uh, Lokanwala, uh, which uh, started on the Loki last year, and this year now we have come almost up to 80% of the capacity in terms of uh, admission. Mm -hmm. Now, there are two more schools which are coming up in Mumbai. One is in Thana and second is in Khargar. So, there will be three schools uh, for this academic year. Okay, three schools. And what kind of investment are you looking to pour in? Uh, it basically depends on number of schools. So on an average, my estimation is around 30 to 40 lakhs per school is the investment if it is on the so-called as a lease premises. Okay, and what kind of revenue and profit are you expecting to generate from Alpha Kids? Uh, we have a plan that uh, uh, in next two years, we would like to first uh, establish ourselves in city like Mumbai and its uh, peripheral area mm -hmm. and we are targeting around 10 schools to start with in Mumbai and looking into the success and uh, basically this uh, brand name has a tremendous acceptance so we are right. not worried about the uh, but our the management uh, 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 management uh, uh, so called as a ability to manage such a big volume right. so this is going to be the big skill and which once we acquire this sort of a confidence then we'll further uh, decide how to expand it. Right, uh, but any uh, any estimates at all on those revenue numbers? Nothing as of now? Uh, it's too early to comment on that. Right, just looking at your FI10 numbers, uh, you've surpassed 300 crores in revenue. So for FI11 and FI12, would you be able to give us at least a bottom figure? Uh, see, basically in our organization, especially in the stationary and education field, the first quarter is very important. Uh, which is that uh, April, May, June, and right. uh, most of the uh, regions, the schools opens in this particular quarter. So uh, we are very confident that if the first quarter, if you meet the number, the whole year will go well. And um, I don't find any sort of a uh, any any uh, uh, sort of shortfall coming anywhere because the uh, everything is uh, on the positive side in terms of uh, government spending on the education, parents. Uh, uh, confidence level in giving the better quality education plus good monsoon economy is also going to be on the upswing So these are the positive signs for this. Okay, uh, Mr. Dandeka, for anyone who's gone to school in India or has grown up in India, we are all familiar with your products, but tell us a little bit more about what sort of uh, product range you have right now in your kitty and what are your plans for expanding that range? See, the Cam Camel and Camlin brand is uh, well recognized, as you know, for last 76 years. Right. And we have a uniqueness that uh, right from the uh, time when the child decides to go into the school, the product profile is available right up to the person's retirement. Right. So this is this is the uniqueness of the company that we have a uh, one or two products which are is being used by the uh, customer uh, throughout his life. Uh, we have uh, two categories. One is co we call as the education category and second is called as the office stationery. Right. And third is the fine art and uh, hobby colors. So we are concentrating uh, on school category by promoting in the schools all the colors in the, uh, the school stationery and in the offices mainly on the marking and writing instruments, then office products. These are the uh, 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 sectors which are uh, promoted. Fine art is also one of the category which has a tremendous sort of a acceptance and value because now the Indian art is also moving very uh, in, in a positive manner uh, throughout the world. And uh, there is a great acceptance for Indian uh, art and uh, right. artist painting. So we have the product range for that also. Right. Uh, Mr. Dandekar, uh, thanks so much for speaking with us and good luck with your plans going forward. Dilip Dandekar over there, the chairman and MD of uh, Camlin India speaking with us. Take a look at the stock. It's up close to about 2%. And uh, talking a little bit about their future plans, uh, he uh, 
told us a little bit more about Alpha Kids, and uh, these are uh, a set of schools that Campbell and India hopes to open. They hope to open close to about three schools in the near future, uh, in and around uh, Mumbai, and they hope to pour in about 30 to 32. 40 lakhs in investment in these particular schools. Well, we'll take a short break at this point. Don't go anywhere. When we come back, we'll take a look at the mid-cap movers and we'll talk to some other companies about their plans.